Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and I'm on the road to Viridian City. Oh, we're here. And let's play Pokemon Fire Red. It'd be a crime if I didn't reference that song. Anyway, uh, we've got all of the other badges. We've got all of the optional stuff out of the way. And now Viridian City's gym has or gym leader has returned. Uh, you could have done this a long time ago, like before we left for the Sevi Islands. Oh, it doesn't even tell you who the gym leader is. I wonder who we could be. Anyway, it's finally time to take on the Viridian City Gym. Whoa. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, this is a ground type gym, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't normally think of ground type being the final gym type. I guess it could work. Oh, I guess we got a lot of Pokemon Tamers here. Yeah, even though this gym is ground type, I have Duke in the lead because he needs more experience. Also, apparently ground type is more of a subjective term. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. I'm a little underleveled. It's not obvious when facing off against the Arbok, but it will be when I'm facing off against the gym leader himself. I think I can get through it now, but between this episode and the next episode, I'm definitely going to go back and fight all the trainers I've missed along the way. There's a lot of them, actually. I've been skipping past them because I've been doing batch recordings. I can handle the torque. Oh wait, it's gonna intimidate me too, isn't it? That's... I hate intimidate so much. Let's see if a brick break will get through you. Wow, really? Really? That means you rested at the beginning of this turn knowing I would do something. I think I made a mistake in sending keeping Duke out. Whoops. Not that the Tauros is gonna do anything. Is it gonna use rest again? Oh, it's gonna use swagger. Too bad for you, your swagger missed. I still can't believe Nintendo let the whole tamer thing slide. Alright, what do you got? A choke, huh? You know, for a ground type gym, the only one who seems to be using actual ground types is me! How does that even make any sense? Oh boy. That's not good. I'm probably gonna have to switch out to a game. Well, it's a good thing I resist that. Ha ha! Yay, I get to taunt people for- oh. Okay, taunt rescinded. Okay, yeah, let's switch for a new. We'll just have him dragoon this guy to death. If I recall correctly, Vital Throw always goes last and never misses. Haha, ha, no revenge for you. Oh, he didn't die in the when I was in the air. Sounds like people out there are mowing the lawn right now. Alright then. Uh, let me heal up a little bit. 
I may be out of super repels, but I still got super potions. Alright. Let's take on these guys now. There's a lot of trainers in here. Um, yeah, do so fine. Uh, there's quite a few trainers in here, so I think I'm gonna speed up and go through all of them. I'm gonna do it this way instead of just cutting them all out because. Whoa, okay, maybe this guy will cut out. Uh, Fire, so I'll switch for a second.
Actually, I'm a little more towards getting rid of Rock Slide. Uh, hmm. Dash is more powerful than Rock Slide. Rock Slide's only really useful against Ice-types, which is not going to be flame. Or Fire-types, or not Fire-types, which, I mean, I have Ground-types for Fire-types. Hmm. I need to think about this one carefully. As much as I like Thrash, I think I am going to get rid of it, because, uh, the way I see it, Mega Form is more powerful, it doesn't have the confusion chance. The only problem is that it's less accurate. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Thrash. Hopefully I won't live to regret that decision. I totally forgot about Megahorn. Or if not totally forgot, I, I just don't remember it. I never... I haven't used Megahorn since the last time I used uh, Samurai on my team, so... I don't know what Pokemon I can use it, other than Samurai, of course. Well, I'm glad I stuck you out in front. That's gonna be really good, though. Because I don't think anyone else on my team is really built to take out Psychic types, which is kind of bad, because... Spoiler alert, there's gonna be Psychic types in my future. Funny story, I'm gonna tell this to you while I go and heal instead of cutting it out like I should. But funny story, uh, back when I was a kid, you know that, that team I was talking about, the first team I ever had? So at about this point in the game, I still had a Kadabra. Because, you know, I didn't know you had to trade it to get it to evolve. And I didn't have anyone to trade it with at this time. I, I didn't get the copy of Leaf Green until 
Actually, at about around this point. A copy of Leaf Green in the second Game Boy, at least. I mean, it wasn't for me, technically, but it was basically for me. Anyway, um... So at about this point in the game, I had a Kadabra, right? Now you might be wondering, what level was it? Was it in the 40s, like everything on your team is right now? It was level 88. I'm not even kidding. How I managed to level grind a Kadabra up to level 88 by this point in the game, I don't know. I must have been extremely grind happy back in the day. Of course, this also was the only video game I owned back then, so. Alright, Tessie's in the lead, ready to take on the gym leader. What the? It's you! You're the gym leader? You're a criminal! Oh, crap. Alright, it's boss time against Giovanni! Yeah, the bad guy, the main villain, is a gym leader. How cool is that? It was one of the coolest things I thought about back in the day. Anyway, starting off, he's got Rhyhorn, level 45, Lightning Rod for the ability, which does absolutely nothing! Take down, Rock Blast, Scary Face, and Earthquake. It does nothing because, well... It's a ground type, it's not gonna do much of anything anyway. For a lightning rod at least. Not in single battles. Anyway, uh, you'll notice the pattern in his team, all his Pokemon know the move Earthquake, which... Oh god, he's sending out the other Rhyhorn already? Well first, this is the other Rhyhorn, level 50! Lightning rod for the ability, the same moves as the other Rhyhorn. Anyway, you'll notice that all of his team members have the move Earthquake. Uh, it's... The, I think it's probably the most powerful ground type move in the game, aside from Fissure, which is one hit KO. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best moves in the game, bar none. Uh, it's 100 power, 100 accuracy, no drawbacks. It is obscene. It's probably one of my favorite moves in the game. Uh, Okay, maybe no drawbacks is kind of a lie, but since the vast majority of battles we're going to be having is single battles, it pretty much has no drawbacks. Uh, the only drawback it really has is that in double battles it damages your partner as well as the opponents, but I mean, again, we're not going to be fighting very many... Uh, very many uh, double battles. Uh, I just skipped over Nita Queen because I one-shotted it. It's level 44, Poison Point for the ability, Double Kick, Earthquake, Poison Sting, Body Slam. Nothing to worry about. Um... You know what, let's let Igneal do something here. I was gonna send out Tessie, but well, let's mix it up a little bit. This is Doug Trio, level 42, Sand Veil for the ability, Slash, Sand Tomb, Mud Slap, and Earthquake. The interesting thing about Doug Trio, and this is actually extremely hilarious, in the original games, it did not have any move that wasn't ground type. All of its moves were ground type. Which means you could kill this with a level 2 Pidgey, if you wanted to. It works, can't hurt you at all. Absolutely ridiculous, and I love it. And last but not least, since we've been wrecking this guy from the beginning, Nido King, level 45, poison point for the ability, double kick, earthquake, poison sting, and thrash. Well, so far I haven't been able to show off what earthquake can do, because I've literally one shot at every single member of his team this entire battle. <laughs> The strongest gym leader in the game, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot make this stuff up, viewers. And for beating Giovanni, we get the Earth Badge! And a fanfare. And 5,000 Pokéyen. The Earth Badge will make it so that any Pokémon you have, including ones that were traded, will obey you regardless of level. Which is really nice. So if you've been using that Mr. Mime, or that Jinx... 
now it'll obey you without question. But more importantly, we get TM26, Earthquake itself! One of the best moves in the game. It's been my favorite move in Pokemon for a long time, right up until Generation 6 when they at least Boom Burst. BOOM Burst. And nowadays I think that's the best move in the game, but that's because it's even more powerful than Earthquake, which is ridiculous. Yep, Giovanni was a gym leader and we took care of him, and now Team Rocket has disbanded. ONCE AND FOR ALL! Uh, okay, maybe not once and for all, but... Well, that's a different game. Uh... We didn't even take a single hit? Well, I didn't say this before, but I guess I'll say it now. Flawless victory! Is that the only flawless victory I've had in the entire game? That's ridiculous. Heck, Blaine give me even even more trouble than that. Holy cow. That's just sad. Alright, so we took down the Viridian City Gym and Team Rocket in the process. Uh, now all we've got left to do is head on over to Route 22, Victory Road, and the Pokemon League itself! But, uh, on the way there, I think I'm gonna end up feeling a little... blue? If you know what I mean. And if you don't, you'll just find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. See you guys then!